So wait, what? Why is she on fire? <laughs> She's on fire, guys. She's on fire. Did I forget to cool the blade? Did I forget to cool the blade? Did I just kill one of my customers? Oh, man. Let's try that again. Hello guys, how's it going? Spy here with another My Little Blacksmith Shop episode. Now last episode you guys seen that I showed off the new update with the new shop and the walking golem. And this episode what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little more blacksmithing to see how the game progressed since. Because we got this little radio menu now so this should be easier for us to make weapons. Also, there's a few other things I want to check out this update. I'm not sure if some of them are going to be possible. But the first thing I'm going to check out is something pretty cool in the sandbox mode. So here we go. Okay, so here we are in the sandbox area. And as you guys could see in the radio menu, we actually have a little shield thing here. I don't think this actually works inside the regular game yet. It's not completely impl implemented, but if we actually heat up some copper here, like this, and we actually select the shields one here, so I'm just going to wait for this to heat up. Oh, there we go. Put this on the anvil over here. And what we are going to do is we are going to smack this a couple times like this. And we're going to turn this into something pretty cool. Okay, here we go. And this is actually the shield rim. This is how you, I think they actually make shield rims too. They um, hammer around the horn of the anvil to make it circular. But here we go. We have the shield rim. Now, this is all that we can make at the moment. That I think because I think what they're going to be doing with this game is they're going to be adding trees that we can cut down so we can make actual grips as well as pieces for the shield. But at the moment, I don't think that's in the game at all. We can't even make the other piece of the shield. It's not even in the main game because we can't even sell them. So there it is. The shield rim. That's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> and look over there. There is actually some. Is that mithril? I think that's mithril. We will see. Uh, no, that's that's adamantine. Okay, cool. And yes, this is called adamantine, by the way, guys. Anyways, that's pretty much um, all that I found in the sandbox mode here. It's pretty cool. Let's head back to the regular game now and do some blacksmithing. Okay, so here we are back in our shop. Now, I was looking on the forums for my little blacksmith shop, and it turns out that the crystals don't have a actual use that we know of yet. I don't think the developers have gotten to developing that quite yet, but hopefully in the future they will have a use. But anyways, we're going to be doing some blacksmithing because I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, as you guys know, I had a lot of money the last few episodes ago and um, turns out my game actually saved and all that copper was inside my shop and when I when I started up a new game it pretty much just crashed it, it didn't it didn't work everything was going crazy the shop was a mess but yeah anyways here we go let's um make some stuff really quick for people and it should be good oh one of our one of our bars just disappeared where is it come on come on oh no well it was still there we made a heated Large copper blade. There we go. Take this into our shop. We'll put this over here, I guess. There we go. We'll make some other little blades and such for our customers when they need it. Oh, that one disappeared as well. I don't know where it went, but I think we're making a small one. No, we made a regular. Throw that in there. We're good. And what we're going to do is we're going to press Z and we're going to make a hammer. Hammerhead. We're going to put this one over here. I want to make a, a regular hammerhead. Because the big one, the people usually don't want that as much. But here we go. Nice. Throw that in there. And we'll make a dagger as well. Hopefully the customers want all this stuff. Because I don't think I have enough money to buy. Oh, what the heck? I don't know how that happened. But I guess we got two hammerheads. Sure. I'm okay with that. <laughs> now, I don't know if there's too much else to do in this game at the moment. Because I pretty much explored all that I could. Only thing we really could do is earn more money and try to get to the point where we were last time. But I don't know if you guys would want that. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm, I'm just going to do some blacksmithing to check how it has improved since. Might as well open the shop before anything. There we go. Come on in, guys. Shop is open. I'm selling some weapons in here, kind of. Um, might as well start making some weapons. Um, 
not what I really wanted, is it? There we go. Put that up here. There we go. Two-hand sword. I'll just throw this up here. Nice. Don't chop our head off when we go to the bedroom. That would be a little bad. Okay, so here comes our first customer. He's probably going to want something that I don't have. But hey, sir, what do you want? What do you want? A great hammer. A great, a great hammer. Yeah, I told you. I told, I don't have a great hammer. But I do have this little hammer that I can make into a great hammer. Here you go. Here's a great hammer. Good enough, hey? G good enough? No? No? Okay, since we don't have the hammerhead, what we can actually do is we can actually heat this back up, I think. And I don't know, but will we be able to turn it into a big hammerhead? We will We will see in a second. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Well, we can't turn it back into a gray hammer, so we're kind of in a little predicament here. Buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get, get out of the shop. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> um, yeah, that's one of the problems starting out. You can't really tell what people are going to want. So you got to kind of make it as you go, which kind of, kind of sucks. So we don't have any money to really pre-build at the moment, but you got to pre-build or it gets a little chaotic. Here, come, here comes another customer. Hello. What do you want? A pole arm. Okay, that, that is easy enough to make. Get, get off here, paper. Thank you. So this pole arm cost ten dollars plus I think ten dollars for the grip. So we'll we'll see how much money we get out of this. We have no experience or levels at all. There you go. Thirty one bucks. So we got like eleven dollars from that, which is pretty cool. Eleven dollars. But like I was saying last episode, I think they have to get off the map before another one comes. Wait, what? Why is she on fire? <laughs> <gasps> She's on fire guys. She's on fire. Did I forget to cool a blade? Did I forget to cool a blade? Did I just kill one of my customers? Oh man, let's try that again. We got all the money from that. Maybe they don't come back? Huh. I wonder what the consequences will be in the future for that. If you don't cool the blade for your customers, will they come back and want a refund or another sword because it broke on them in battle? Hey, how's it going? What do you want? Um, a one hand sword. Okay, well we're gonna test this again. So what I'm going to do is I am going to not quench the blade. There we go. Let's make this into something nice for him. Just so he doesn't come back to murder us. There we go. That looks nice. And we will put a one hand guard on it and a one hand grip. There you go, sir. Have this really hot and flaming sword. Oh man, <laughs> he's glowing. Okay. Um, let's see if he catches on fire like that last person. Oh, he's on fire again! <laughs> so yes, it's from not quenching the blade. Your, your customers catch fire. So will that mean customers will be able to die in the future? Maybe. Maybe you'll be able to murder them. Murder them? Huh. I got to test this out, guys. Can we catch people on fire ourselves? That is a good question. That is a really good question. Hello, sir. What can I uh, get you? A great sword. Okay, so let's um make him a great sword, but let's try catching him on fire before we give it to him. We might have to sneak around the back. Maybe. I don't know. Um, here, let me test this out with a smaller, smaller um blade, just so he doesn't take it. Here you go, buddy. Test this out. Okay, let's see if he catches fire really quick. It doesn't look like they catch fire if you stick it in them like this. Don't worry, buddy. I'm just, I'm just testing out some stuff for sign. Yeah. Stabbing a blade through your chest. Um, well then. <laughs> Let's throw this in here. Bam. Let's go make him a great sword. Look at this blade. It looks really cool with that uh, edging there. Okay. Well, two-hand guard. A two-hand grip. There's your amazing look. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. I was going to quench it, but I don't think it matters at all. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see him catch on fire now. We're just going to follow him. Hey, buddy. How do you like your sword? It's really cool and flaming. There's a golem back there. Okay. He's going to catch on fire. Is he, is he catching on fire? 
Maybe if we get far away, it'll catch fire. Yeah, that's what it is. I see. So we see a fire effect if we're far away. So I don't think they really are catching a fire. It's just what it looks like when you get far away. Which is pretty cool. Well, I gotta restock my shop. No! No! Stay out! Stay out! It's not open! You can't do that! You can't just... Open my door and hold it open! Oh wow, look at that guys. We already have 279 coins. That's awesome! So, what we could do is we could already buy 10. Look at that. 10. Sweet. And we already have a little extra to buy some grips and stuff. What's going on here? I don't even know. <laughs> two in one. Two in one package, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. What the heck's happening? Well, I I'm I'm just gonna break that like that before something crazy happens. Might as well just fill up this here as much as possible until we can get some extra. Ma'am, the shop is open. You gotta get out of the back of the store here. Come on. Did I just glitch you by accident? I think so. Well, I gotta turn this torch off because you... I don't know. I think she's stuck. There we go. We pushed her. Get, get out of here. You're not allowed in my shop. Get, go. So yeah, look in the radio menu here. We can't even select the shield, so we can't make them in in the shop mode of the game at the moment. I really can't wait until we can buy that house up there. I wonder if that's going to turn into our new forge. Maybe we will continuously buy bigger and bigger shops. Like, I want a smaller shop like this at first. Something very small and basic. This is pretty basic itself. And I wonder if we will be able to hire workers in the future to actually, like, uh, go out and mine and chop wood for us. That would be pretty cool. I think that would be amazing. I can't wait to see what this game is like in the future. Uh, ma'am, I guess I gotta push you towards my door because you're not, you're not coming in at all. There we go. Finally pushed her inside. She wants a great hammer, guys. Okay, I'll get you a great hammer. Don't worry about it. Okay, we gotta take these off. We gotta make her a great hammer. Oh man, glitches like that, guys, are a little funny. Oh, I just put an ingot underneath another ingot. That's what happened. Well then, that's pretty interesting. There we go. Let's quench this and see if there's a difference in pricing. Um, gotta get our two-hand grip. There you go, ma'am. Have a nice one. And we gotta level up. So we're gonna put this under charisma, because charisma gets us more money. And since we're already getting a lot of money, it should give us even more money. <laughs> money, money, money. Hello. What do you want? You want a one-hand hammer. Okay, well, we're gonna make a tin one-hand hammer and see what the difference in pricing is compared to uh, the last version. I think we're already getting a lot more money than before, but there we go. This is a lot more fun now that we gotta quench it. But it might be a little more difficult in the long run because we gotta do one extra process. Plus, it's outside. There you go, sir. How much money did we get? So we got $146 from that, but we paid $200 for the tin. We got ripped off. We got ripped off big time. What the heck? What the heck's that about? I don't really know. Let's try that again. I think it might just be a glitch, but we will see. So what I'm thinking is uh, the logs that we cut down eventually will look like this. We will be able to take this over to maybe like a woodworking station and we'll be able to carve this into a handle or a shield piece. I think that would be really cool. We can't do anything with it at the moment, but yeah. Hello, you want a one hand hammer. Okay, this is probably the best way to check if we get all our money out of it. We'll just throw this in here. That doesn't need to be back here. Throw that. Oh, there. There we go. And we will add a grip. Here's your one hand hammer. That was quick, yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We are not getting our full price out of it. And I don't know why, but that's a good thing to note because uh, we don't have enough money to buy more tin now, which kind of sucks. Hopefully they fix that. I don't know what's wrong there. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. A one hand hammer. Okay, we'll make you another one hand hammer, sir. We're gonna see if this gives us the right price for 
copper one-handed hammers. I'm curious, is there is there another model for this? Oh, there is. Look at that. That is cool. I like that one. That one looks sweet. Look at that. That is amazing looking. Okay, we will put a grip on this. That is so cool looking. Look at that, guys. That is the best looking hammer that I've seen. Here you go, buddy. Please give us some money. <laughs> um, so, for the copper one, we did get extra money from it. We got 33 and it would only cost us about $23 to make it. So the copper's not glitched. I think it's just the tin. I have no clue. But anyways, let's close the shop. There's one thing I want to check out, guys. And it's to get into that new house. The question is, can we get into the shop? Probably not. Um, let's see. I'm stuck in the box now. No, it doesn't look like we can. I think there's an invisible wall right here preventing us from glitching inside. So that's a thing. I think he already thought this through because we can't even go over here. So yeah, we can't even get up there because there's an invisible wall. Huh. Well, if we could get up there, I would just stack the boxes at the balcony and get in from there. But I don't think that's even an option. He thought through this, guys. He doesn't want us going in there. See, we can't even put our box. Oh, yeah, we can. But we can't jump on it anymore. I don't know why that is. Well, I don't think there's anything in there at anyways. It looks pretty empty. Look at There's the golem. Walking in the distance. Mr. Golem. Well, then. Well, guys, I don't know if there's much else to explore in this update. We're going to have to wait for another update to come out. But if you want me to play a little bit more in between... Let me know. I don't know if it's going to be possible because we're not earning as much money as we should. And we already we already explored all the new stuff. The crystals don't have a use. And we can't make any shields. So, I think that's pretty much it for now. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already. So thank you guys for watching. And subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye!